Hi everybody, welcome back to the reading room. I have another great book for you, um, one of my favorites actually, um, and I used to read this a lot to my own kids um, when they were little, and we would drag it out of the book off the bookshelf every spring and around Easter, and um, I would just read it to them. It's by a great author, very well-known author, but I think the reason why I really love this book is because of the pictures. So I hope that um, you will enjoy it too. So let me show you. This book is called Bunny's Noisy Book. And it's by Margaret Wise Brown. She wrote the book. She is the author. She's a very um, famous, well-known author. But like I said, I really love the pictures. And the pictures um, were made by the illustrator, Lisa. McHugh. A um, little fun fact about um, Lisa McHugh is that when she does um, illustrate or draw pictures for a book, she loves to hide things inside her pictures. And she always gives great detail um, to her pictures. Um, and they're just so vivid, like they're alive and about to come off the page. Um, in this particular book, she has hidden her last name, McHugh, 13 different times. Now, when I'm reading the book, I don't think you're going to be able to find her name um, that is hidden in the pictures because she does it so well. I think you would have to actually buy the book and have it in front of you. But it's kind of like one of those seek and find picture books. Um, but it's just always fun when she is the illustrator of a book because I'm always wondering, what did she hide in there? Um, let me just show you this up close. I love this. Look at that little tiny, little tiny ladybug. Isn't it cute? Okay, so I'm going to read this book to you. I'm going to show you this first picture. I love this first picture. This is like a dedication page. That's where they say, I want to dedicate my book to whoever. It's usually people in their family or maybe people who have helped them out. But I just love the picture of this. Um, I just planted one of these in my backyard. And I hope it turns out as beautiful as this. And you see the, the bumblebees? I love the bumblebees too. When he first woke up in the morning, he didn't open his eyes. Why should he, that little bunny? He raised his ears without opening his eyes. He heard all the little quiet noises starting the morning around him. First, what did he hear? First, nothing. Then there was a sudden fluttering and chirping. What was that? Birds getting up out of their nest and off the branches and beating their wings. Far off, very far away, he heard a cock a doodle doo. What was that? The little bunny opened his eyes went up the tunnel to his home and out to sea. Sound came from the world above. The little bunny heard a What was that? Mm -hmm. 
notice there's butterflies and there's a squirrel up there which is a frog. Yes, it was a bumblebee. Two bumblebees. Then the little bunny started on a big green leg. And he began to make a little noise himself. How was that? Then he stretched. And what kind of noise was that? I love this picture. You can see all kinds of little insects and animals in this picture and the flowers. Then he yawned. And what kind of noise was that? This is a cute little bunny. And then he scratched. And what kind of noise was that? And then he sneezed. And what kind of noise was that? Look, he sneezed the flower right off. And then he went hop hop over to a big pink clover that was buzzing with bees. All day long he ate big pink clover. And at the end of the day, the sun went down. But could the little bunny hear that? No. Can you hear the sun going down? No, but we can see it, can't we? We can watch the sun going down. But he could hear the little noises of the night beginning around him. And the wind began to blow louder and stronger. And branches snapped. And then there was an old familiar thump as his mother banged her heels on the ground. That meant run for home. The old red fox was taking a stroll. Time for little bunnies to be safe in their hole. Look. And do you see the fireflies? Now, if you are in my class, you might remember we just finished talking about some fireflies and we watched a video and we read a book um, about Sam and the firefly. And he popped down the rabbit hole just as the fox barked. He wiggled his nose and sniffed the little quick noise of a sniff. How was that? And he jumped into his little bed of leaves, curled into a little fur ball, and tucked his paws under him. There he is. He's getting in his house with his mama. Going to be all tucked in for bedtime. Then the little bunny sighed, his little bunny sighed. His ears fell down and he nodded over, sound asleep in his own warm hole in the big, quiet night.